So now we should look at the switching modulator block diagram. Okay, circuit diagram. So the only difference is a nonlinear block which was given there is now replaced by the actual diode, which we can assume it to be ideal. Okay. So assuming that anyways the input what we are giving v1 of t as it was written in the previous uh, you know the square law modulator also uh, its combination of x of t and c of t x of t is modulating c of t is the carrier okay and uh, when you give this to the uh, diode diode basically goes to on condition only during the positive half cycle as we have assumed the ideal diode anything which is equal to or greater than zero you will see at the output of the diode so anything which is lesser than zero is all removed so when c of t is positive v2 of t is equal to v1 of t when c of t is negative v2 of t is zero so hence we can write v2 of t as m of t by 2 plus ac by 2 into cos of omega ct plus 2 by pi into x of t into cos omega ct plus 2 by pi into ac into cos 2 omega ct so later on if you try to you know basically pass it through a, a bandpass filter the output of the bandpass filter will contain only the carrier signal and the two sideband frequencies which are fm plus fc and fc minus fm okay